Welcome back guys and let's talk about if you should buy a used GPU from a miner for gaming. And the short answer for that is yes, there is actually nothing that you should be worried about and now I saved you a few minutes of your time. But if you wanna know a lot more about that, just continue watching this video. So GPU prices are steadily going down from the highs that they have been in the last month or two. And actually right now you can buy an RX 580 8 GB version for $287. In just a month or two ago they were going for something like $500 and RX 570 is going for $215, GTX 1070 for $303, the mini version, 1060 6GB version is going for $280, and the 3GB version is going for $199. So those prices right now on used GPUs are getting a little bit closer to the MSRP prices, and they are actually about 20-30% to 30 higher than an MSRP price depending on the model that you wanna get. Now, what are the risks of buying that used GPU from miner? Some miners are actually really honest, like this guy that said this GPU has been used for mining. And I really appreciate that there is actually almost no risk to buy a used GPU from a miner, but when they say it was used for mining crypto, that is something that you should appreciate when they are not lying to you. And this guy said, I've been playing games with it on weekends for past two months, so it hasn't been used that much. And if the, that person is selling only one GPU, it is possible that it has been used only for gaming, but everyone who is selling GPUs now, the ant has bought them in the last month, two or three months, when this cryptocurrency craze was going on, should really know that people will think that they have been mining, even though if they haven't been mining. So you should be skeptic to everyone and just assume that everyone has been mining with those GPUs. Now, what are the risks of buying the used GPU? So the number one problem that used GPUs have is having your fan break. And this is the only moving part in your GPU that can break. The GPU is a lot different than something like a car that has hundreds of moving parts and if one of those parts break, your whole car might stop working. But GPU has only that uh, fan and if the fan breaks or one out of the three fans that some GPUs have, your GPU will stop working because it will overheat in a minute or two of intense gaming. Now you can still use that GPU if you are not gaming, if you just want to use it for browsing using the internet, watching videos or something like that, you can absolutely use it and it will not overheat if the model is really new. If it's something like GTX 1000 series or the RX 580, then it should be perfectly fine even without that fan working. But if you wanna start gaming even something like Counter-Strike or League of Legends, something that is not so intensive, and you wanna go with high details or with 4K resolution, then you need your fans working. Uh, but if you buy a GPU and it still has warranty and if it breaks you will get a new GPU or the same one. And the great thing about that is if you have for example 3 years of warranty and your GPU breaks after 2 years and 11 months and they don't even produce those GPUs anymore and the store doesn't have them, nobody has them, you will have to get the money refund or the new GPU that is most likely more powerful than the one you have right now. And if you are worried that something else will break, that is really a low probability because those chips that GPU has, the memory chips and the core chips, they are so hard to break because when did you have last time your RAM chips break or your CPU break? So you can see that pieces without the moving parts are really, really hard to break. And I don't have the numbers for you right now and I don't know what is the percentage of GPU that have their fans broken, but in my mining rig I have 14 GPUs right now mining for almost a year and I didn't have even one fan break or any problem that caused my GPUs to stop working. So if probably somebody has a thousand GPUs, of course they will have some GPUs break and some of the GPUs will be dead on arrival, but if you have just a one GPU and if you actually buy the one and it breaks, then you didn't really have luck. And that is it and you should not worry about your GPUs breaking. But if GPU doesn't have warranty and it is really cheap so you are tempted to buy it, 
then the chance that it will break is also really, really low. Because those GPUs get tested a lot and I don't believe that AMD or Nvidia would sell something that cannot go for at least double the amount of the warranty time to be able to game or to mine. Since it's not like they are going to sell you a GPU that will break after the three years and one day, so one day after the warranty has expired. And if you would, for example, game like 10 or 20 hours per day, if you have few people gaming on the same rig, that just cannot happen. Your GPUs cannot break in the warranty time. Or at least they should not break, of course. Uh, things can happen and they can break but you should not worry about it and if you can get the mining GPU cheaper than this, the GPU that somebody just played games on go with the mining GPU and don't worry about it at all so thank you guys for watching this video let me know if you would ever buy a GPU from a miner or you just uh, are skeptic about that and you don't want any risk so see you again in another video and bye